<laughs> Today, Kenya Davis sits here without her only daughter, <laughs> Asia Davis. We, uh, we're not, I mean, we barely we're holding on. This is Love Hurts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future content. New Orleans is a Louisiana city on the Mississippi River near the Gulf of Mexico. Nicknamed the Big Easy, it's known for its authentic culture, great music, and excellent food. But crime here is heavy, heavy. And New Orleans police can't seem to keep up. With a 911 response time of up to 12 hours, it's no surprise when a beautiful mother is found dead after numerous attempts at getting help from authorities. 28-year-old Asia Davis was the life of the party and definitely the family comedian. She had a huge heart for helping people, especially elderly people in her community. She worked as a home health aide for senior citizens and she absolutely loved her job. She was also the mother of a beautiful five-year-old little girl. Born on Mother's Day of 2017, she was truly the best Mother's Day gift that Asia could have ever asked for. Being a mother was the highlight of Asia's life. It was her most important job and her most rewarding. Asia was dating 44-year-old Henry Talley Jr., a convicted felon who was recently released from prison. You see, in 1996, when Talley was still a juvenile, he had been the driver in a drive-by shooting that killed a 12-year-old boy. He received a mandatory life sentence with no chance at parole, but he was among a few hundred juvenile lifers in Louisiana who were offered a new shot at freedom in a series of U.S. Supreme Court rulings focused on juvenile brain science. So in 2021, Tally was given the opportunity to skip the parole board and plead guilty to manslaughter and attempted murder in exchange for a 50-year sentence. He'd already served 25 years, and that was enough time for him to walk free. He was released from prison on May 24th of 2021. Although the relationship between Asia and Tally started off great, at some point in the relationship, Asia saw his true colors and abusive tendencies, so she ended things in April of 2022. But this decision did not sit well with Tally at all, and he began stalking her. He would just show up at her home at random times and accuse her of sleeping with other men. She had to call the police on him twice in the past due to his controlling erratic behavior. Asia just wanted to be left alone, but Tally had no intentions of letting her walk free. On the morning of May 11th, 2023, Asia put her five-year-old daughter on the school bus and was walking back to her apartment when Tally pulled up and allegedly forced her into his vehicle. Neighbors say they heard the two arguing and they could clearly hear Tally accuse Asia of cheating. Shortly after that, they heard Asia say, you're really going to do this to me, Henry? And then a gunshot. Police say Tally allegedly shot Asia dead and then drove over her body and fled the scene. Tonight, a family is coming to terms with the loss of a young woman who was brutally snatched away from them. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Devin Bartolotta. And I'm Sharice Gibson. As Asia Davis was shot and killed this week, Eleanor Tabone sat down with her family in tonight's top story. This memorial paying tribute to 28-year-old Asia Davis, who was shot and killed at the intersection of Mayo Boulevard and the South I-10 service road. Her family now grieving the loss of a young mother, daughter, sister, cousin, niece and best friend. <laughs> Today, Kenya Davis sits here without her only daughter, Asia Davis. We, uh, we're not, I mean, we barely we're holding on. on. Kenya now left to raise Asia's five-year-old child, who was born on Mother's Day, and will now celebrate her sixth birthday without her mother. My grandbaby is like my best friend. I love her to death. And my daughter knew that. I love my daughter. Asia was shot and killed Thursday morning. That's the sickening part about all of this. She's laid out on the concrete by herself. The family says she had a big heart and never stopped aiming for greatness. She overcame a lot of obstacles in life. She had a, a special patience because she was a home health aide. 
for senior citizens, and she loved to work with older people. She was a very beautiful person. Very she was the life of the party, you know. She uh, very respectable. Everybody she meet just loved her. The family laughing and crying together about the glue Asia was to this now broken family. She'll make you mad, but then a couple of minutes later, you couldn't do nothing but laugh at her because she was... A, she, she just was a comedian and all right. Like many families across New Orleans, they're tired of the bloodshed. Less than 24 hours after Asia was killed, two other women were killed in the, in the city. Something has got to be done. It has to stop. We're just losing all of our children. They want action, not empty words. What are the leaders doing? They need help. They need to understand that you need help. Crime is out of control. Somebody has got to do something. And we're here to discuss the unfortunate uptick in violent crime uh, that we've been seeing recently. These recent senseless violent acts by bad actors in our community threaten our public safety and the quality of life for our citizens and visitors. Our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families who've been affected by these incidents. In the past two weeks, we've made nine arrests in homicide investigations. NOPD's violent offender squad, along with the U.S. Marshals, apprehended 44-year-old Henry Talley Jr. for the shooting death of 28-year-old Asia Davis at Mayo in the I-10 service road on May 11th. And that arrest um, happened this morning. Well, 12 hours, that's how long dispatch records show it took New Orleans police to respond to a woman who was calling for help from a man allegedly abusing her. Good evening, everyone. I'm Cherise Gibson. And I'm Devin Bartolotta. Asia Davis was eventually killed by that man, investigators say. And now the city council wants to know why police took so long to get to her. Eleanor Tabone has the story. Asia Davis is one of six women killed in New Orleans in the span of a month. According to dispatch records, the young mother called for help, but seemingly authorities failed her. This woman reached out twice to the New Orleans Police Department through 911 and made complaints fearing for her life. She was apparently killed by her boyfriend, Henry Talley Jr. Our partners at NOLA.com say he shot her then ran over her. Twice before her death, she called 911 for help. But dispatch records show on both April 6th and April 18th, her calls were downgraded. In both occasions, it took NOPD 12 hours to respond and both calls were marked gone on arrival. NOPD says those calls were downgraded because the suspect had left the scene and there was no threat of imminent danger. Council President J.P. Morrell wants to know why a domestic violence complaint is not a priority. It is hard for us as a city to have victims and survivors take us seriously when we don't prioritize their safety by thinking a 12-hour response on two complaints of domestic violence is acceptable. Just what we see in, in this case regarding Miss Davis, well, she's dead now, she's dead. Domestic violence advocate Kim Sports says there's no excuse for why it took officers that long to get to Asia. There's a reason why we have laws that distinguish a simple battery from domestic abuse battery. And that's because of the threat of imminent harm to a victim of domestic abuse. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. Henry Talley Jr. has been arrested and is now facing a second degree murder charge. NOPD says when it responded 12 hours later to Asia's calls, they tried to call her and knocked on the door but didn't get a response, so they marked the call gone on arrival. Although Talley was originally charged with second degree murder, those charges were eventually upgraded to first degree murder. Now, this is still an ongoing case, so we'll just have to wait to see what the final outcome is. My heart truly goes out to Asia's family, friends, and especially her daughter. Such a heartbreaking story. And what makes it even more heartbreaking is the fact that the New Orleans police completely fumbled the ball on this one. Taking 12 hours to respond to a domestic call is unbelievable and unacceptable. If you are in a domestic violence relationship, please get out now. Use the quickest, safest way available. 
and leaving may require you to move to a new state or new city and start completely over, but doing so could save your life. As always, loves, stay safe. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and the notification bell for future content.